The agenda for this presentation covers the new support for dynamic database names and multiple database support in WebSphere Message Broker v6 for ESQL nodes. This section provides detailed information about the dynamic database name support in v6. In previous releases of WebSphere Message Broker, the data source name was a node property. This results in the restriction that only one database could be referenced per node. Also, the schema name and table names were required to be hard-coded within the ESQL. Although expression statements were allowed in ESQL, expressions could not be used in database references. In WebSphere Message Broker v6, all ESQL constructs which access a database now allow the data source, schema, and table names to be calculated by expressions. These names can be derived from user-defined properties settable when deploying a flow from message fields, from database tables, or from any other source. Here is a summary of the syntax that is now permitted in v6. Note that the keyword database indicates a query from an external database rather than a message tree query. If the data source name is not specified, it defaults to the data source name defined at the node level. This section discusses multiple database name support in v6. In previous releases, you could not reference more than one database within a node. In v6, you can now use the ASQL expression enhancements for database references to access more than one database within one ESQL node. Several advantages of accessing more than one database in a node are immediately apparent. Applications that require more than one database for processing are not forced to use multiple nodes. Applications that access a test database do not have to be recoded when the application is placed in production and other workarounds for the single database access restrictions in previous releases, such as complex statement string constructions or pass-through, are no longer required. The multiple database support requires the use of the new table reference property and operations. A table reference is simply a field reference in which the first part of the name is literally database. A dynamic data source is used to specify the data source name. You can use the new expression syntax within the clauses to reference data source, schema, and table. Here is a summary of the table reference syntax provided in v6. The additional elements are the expression elements under data source clause, schema clause, and table clause. The syntax for insert, update, delete, and select statements is basically the same as in previous releases, except for the addition of the expression elements in the table reference syntax. The call statement now additionally allows the reference to data source name and schema name expressions. The pass-through statement and the pass-through function both allow a database reference. The pass-through function evaluates an expression and executes the resulting character string as a database statement, returning a result set. This example performs a select on table table1 in schema schema1 in database dsn1, passing two parameters to the WHERE clause and asking for the result set to be ordered in ascending name order. The result set is assigned to the select result folder. The pass-through statement evaluates an expression and executes the resulting character string as a database statement. This example creates the customers table in schema shop in database DSN1. Please note these considerations regarding the transactionality of database operations. Any database operations that have not been committed by nodes with their transaction property set to commit are automatically committed by the input node if the flow ends normally. Likewise, under the same environmental circumstances, the database operations are rolled back if there is an unhandled exception. There are restrictions you should consider when using multiple database access within a single ESQL node. All databases accessed from one node must present the same ODBC functionality. 
All tables referenced in the from clause of a single select function must reside in the same database. In other words, a logical join capability does not exist across databases in v6. If the select star construct is used on a database table, the database pointed to by the node property must contain a definition of the table. You will receive an exception if you violate these restrictions. The last portion of the presentation contains a summary and references. This presentation discussed dynamic database names, a new feature in version 6 that enables you to use expressions that can be resolved to the data source name, schema name, and table name, which removes the requirement to hard code this information in your ESQL statements. This presentation also discussed the new multiple database support feature in version 6, allowing you to access more than one database in a single ESQL node.